With a reignited fire for the game, San Antonio X Factor has trained hard since the beginning of 2012. But despite their efforts, the best that they've been able to finish this season is sixth place at the Mid-Atlantic Open. Plagued with penalties, X Factor just hasn't been able to get their full squad rolling, though they've shown that they can beat big teams and have avoided getting relegated to the Challengers division. The team's core has been playing together for a long time and contains the talent to win tournaments. The rookie, Dimitri Ninos, is playing solid this year, as is veteran all-star Archie Montemayor, who is their highest ranked player. X Factor took third at the World Cup last season and can threaten for wins if they stay out of the penalty box and play together. Trenton Top Gun has earned their way into the Champions Division for the first time. The team has been around since 2009, steadily punching their way through the divisions. Top Gun has talent on its roster who have seen time in the Pro Division before. As standout Taman Chapman, Steven Lasher, and Ryan Martin have all played with powerhouse teams. But the talent train doesn't stop there, as Nick Hunt, Alvin Johnson, and Matt Rentschler have all put in work to get Top Gun this far. The team has their work cut out for them, though, as they take on the best programs in the game, and this will be the biggest test that they've ever faced as a team. We will find out shortly if Top Gun is ready to contend against the best in the world. Welcome back. I am down here with Aaron Tholey and Riley Sullivan of Excessive. Now, just to fill you guys in, Excessive was down 5-0, uh, and they came back. It was tied 6-6. Thunder had two penalties, and they ended up winning 7-6. What were you guys thinking? Run what was running through your mind when it was 5-0? Honestly, we just went back to that positivity in the pit, tried to keep our composure, but we really had to bring in the Gladiator squad and, uh, and G up, you know? Uh, Riley, Dan Smith said you were killing everyone out here, so tell us how you were performing. No, I wasn't killing everyone. Um, the whole team stepped up, especially on the snake side. I was able to get a few Gs because the snake was moving up so fast, it was able to re release the Dorito side. So I was able to get a few kills, but uh, honestly, man, uh, I've never played with this team with like so much heart. Um, like you said, we were down. Uh, Thomas came in and said, we're going to win seven points straight, guys, and that's exactly what we did. So um, I give it to God, number one, and to my teammates, my brothers. Um, and I think, obviously, this event, I don't know if we're going to make it. It's going to be really tight. If we don't, then the next event, we're looking for a win. You know, we're just growing. So. All right, well, congratulations. That was an amazing comeback. Next up, we have X Factor versus Top Gun. We'll see what happens. Well, that is a great story for Sacramento Excessive who went down 6-1 to one, like you were just listening, and they came back and just six, to six, six they, unanswered they points. They were down 6-1? Yeah, six unanswered points. Oh, great. Yeah, to win the game. Wonderful. So here we go. Next matchup, San Antonio X Factor. Going to play Trenton Top Gun Union. I'm Matty Marshall with Chris Soy and Todd Martinez here at the PSP West Coast Open. And oh. right away off the break as Top Gun sends, I think, is that Chris Shear again? That's Ryan Martin up there to the oh, X. Ryan Martin on the, yeah, Ryan Martin to the X. Oh, and he they, he bounced both players. Billy Bernacci got bounced in the side. Nino's, he got shot, asked for a check. Referee finally ran in there and pulled him out. Billy Bernacci is the only player over here on the snake side as Archie Montemayor dies out of the back center right now. But Ryan Martin is in that small cake on the snake side of the X, but X-Factor pushing hard up the Dorito side. Colt Roberts is in the 50. If he were to wrap around, Union needs to protect Ryan Martin over here. Come across, there's only one body stopper, and that's going to be Colt Roberts, who Colt, can shoot this temple right here. And Colt Roberts actually got taken out. Um, you know, he's another one of those players getting up to that 50 really, really quick. So Top Gun looking really good in this first point. Yeah, Top Gun needs to win this match, and even just for pride. Yeah, that's Michael Smith over here in Snake 3. He's going to crawl around to the 50 and start putting the pinch on Billy Bernaccia. It's looking like number 44 right there. Grayson That's a Goff. gun down. Grayson Golf having some trouble. Kind of one hand get you got. Yeah, he's doing the old hold the pod above my feed neck trick. Yeah, you know, I was watching him. He, you know, you just watch somebody crawl across a huge lane like you talked about, Todd, from uh, that Snake 2 to Snake 50. And he just sat there and watched him and <laughs> in disgust. Yeah, there's nothing he's going to be able to do right there. Took off, did whatever he can. And Michael Smith played off of that, ran and bunkered Billy Bernaccia. You know, before this match uh, started, I, I kind of forgot about um, how Ryan Martin was playing the center of the field yesterday. And if he continues to play the center of the field today against X Factor, I think Top Gun Union can take this game. But X Factor, really aggressive yesterday. I really liked the way they played until they started getting all those penalties. Yeah, and Top Gun Union, they had that really close loss against um, Infamous that they were winning that game. When they, they kind of did the same thing they're doing right now. They came out, played really well, and 
put some points on the board, and then they let Infamous back in that match. So let's see if they can keep this up here against X Factor, and we'll be right back after this. Afternoon is beginning here in the Champions Division with Top Gun taking on X Factor. Both of these teams are 0 and 2. Season so professional. Did, me, did uh, Dimitri play that first point? Yep, he got shot in the break. So, a little tidbit of information about the, uh, Dimitri Ninos' penalties for X Factor. So, Ninos had three major penalties yesterday, resulting eight points being scored by their opponents against X Factor. 14 total points were scored on him all day. So, over half of the points scored against X Factor were with him in the box. That's not going to do it for you as Chris Shear gets shot out of the temple on the snake side for Top Gun Union. Top Gun not attacking the center this time, but Grayson Goff looks like up there in the middle for X Factor. Archie Montemayor going to fill out for the mini Dorito on the snake side, out to the snake side corner. Ninos back in there again. He's in the temple. He's mirrored up, shooting at Ryan Martin in the back center as Ninos puts Martin in and goes all the way into their snake too. And it's gonna be bad really quick. So yeah, what better way to get back on the good side, good graces of everyone, than get in the snake, run down and shoot everybody. Or just tie the guns up and let everybody else come out and shoot everybody. So there here comes San Antonio X Factor. Well, he so, has, he had, Ninos has something to prove right now. He better do something. Well, it's like we were got, we were talking about the end of the last game. Do do you sit him because of the three majors he got yesterday? And I was like, you know what? You want all the weapons you, you possibly have, especially when you're in must-win situations. Do you do it on general principle? I, well, Coach Ryan Brand and Coach Paul Richards from X Factor decided, all right, well, we need this guy out there, and he just hung that hung that flag for him to get them get them back on the board. So Dimitri getting himself a kill there against Ryan Martin. And we got ourselves a tie game right now. You know, I, and you know, X Factor looking decent, but I mean, I think these two teams are pretty evenly matched. I think they're going to do well together, and I think it's going to be a pretty decent game. Um, what is it? And, you know, we said, oh, and they're both 0 and 2. They're both you know, 0 and, and they're both negative sixes and ten. So I mean, it's it, it shows they're evenly matched coming up up to this point. Um, they both have something to prove to each other, that's for sure. So I mean, let's see who comes out on top with this one. They still got one more game after this. And you don't want to be in that bottom two, I'm telling you, or bottom four like we had talked about, Maddie. Yeah, we're going to watch those guys slug it out tomorrow morning. We're going to be right back. You love paintball? Of course you do. We all do. Do you want free paintballs? Of course you do. We all do. Well, you can help us make a difference. Paintball is the greatest sport on the planet. We all know that. But we need your help to introduce our sport to future generations. Introducing the JT First Shot 3-on-3 Paintball Tournament. It's intended for new players with no previous tournament experience. This will be a three-man race to two format with JT Splatmaster and JT Paintball the Mechanical Division. Entry fee is $75 per team, which includes three matches on a miniature PSP sub airfield. You will get all the equipment and paint needed to play. A free JT First Shot t-shirt and prizes will be awarded for first through third place. As a special bonus, you'll receive free grandstand tickets, 50% discount off all dull grandstand tickets, it's pro tips, coaching from professional teams like Infamous, Dynasty, Excessive, Impact, and many others. Hey guys, this is your chance to get free paint, make an impact, and grow our sport. For every team that you can recruit, you will receive a free case of Empire Ultra Evil Paintball. So get involved, recruit, get free paint, and most importantly, let's grow the sport. So we are back here at the A.B. Brown Sports Complex in Riverside, California for the PSP West Coast Open. This game is brought to you by Avid Extreme Sports in the North Texas or Oklahoma area. Check out Avid Extreme Sports. Here we go. X-Factor and Top Gun Union tied at one apiece. 
On the left-hand side of your screen is X-Factor, and they are trying to get out wide on the drill side. And also on the snake side, so good cross-field spread from X-Factor. No one dead from them yet, and Trenton Top Gun, they have five alive as well. And nobody locks off the snake for Top Gun Union. Allows Dixon Yang to make two bumps across directly into Snake 2, and now he's going to have shots across the field on the Dorito side of Top Gun Union. Top Gun Union made it out to the snake corner alive, and then their inside player at that mini Dorito was looking across to the Dorito side, back center switch. Nobody saw Dixon Yang get in there. Dixon Yang right now can get some help behind him. Has full control of this snake over here. X-Factor trying to keep the Top Gun Union player in Dorito 2 from wrapping around the outside. Oh, Lance Hardwick just got shot out of the back center for Top Gun. So X-Factor going to draw first blood this point. He comes walking off. X-Factor making a move up into Dorito 2. Referee checks him out. He is clean. I believe that is Scott Kemp. Yeah. Oh, and there goes another body from Top Gun Union out of that Dorito 2. Yeah, and here comes uh, Dixon Yang coming down on the snake side of the field, backed up by Billy Bernaccia. Oh, on so the head. <laughs> Billy Bernaccia, I'm sorry to cut you off there, Maddie, but Billy Bernaccia comes up and just puts one on. Number 12 right there. I'm sorry, that's number two, Nicholas Hunt. What a shot. I mean, just you called that too, Matt. He comes up, just puts one on him. Backing yep. up Dixon Yang. Yeah, solid work by Bernaccia. Bernaccia struggled last season until World Cup, and then he played awesome at World Cup, and look what happened when he played awesome. X-Factor took third place at the World Cup. So the thing is, is that in this, in just in paintball in general, I mean, the success and failure of your team, a lot of times is going to ride on how well your snake players are playing. And if your snake players are playing hot, you're going to be hard to beat. And if they're playing not so hot, then it's going to be easy to beat you because the snake is such a dominant bunker. And, you know, the Dorito side is super important as well, but historically the snake side is the most important side of the field. One thing I do like about this field is that once, you know, it is hard, hard to get out to the snake side of the field. Once you do get in that snake after all the hard work you did put in, it's a little more hard work, but it, the rewards are definitely in there for oh, you. It is absolutely great risk, great reward over here on this particular layout for this snake. Because we've seen guys constantly be able to, to fight through, battle through guns, shooting at them, get out on this side, get all the way down the field and shoot tons of guys in the back. So it, it's that is absolutely out there, but can you do that? You know, it, it, it's tough to do it. But it's been happening in all tournament. We've seen a lot of fast points. It's this field layout's been it's been very entertaining to watch this field layout. We've seen some awesome <laughs> yeah. games out there, man. Wow. Yeah, amazing. It's gonna be good when you get two of those top tier teams that know the field, that know each other after a tournament, you know, towards the end on Sunday, just going head to head and knocking each other out. Yeah, so I mean we've we're in our twentieth game that we've seen so far in two days, and to me there was only one game that I was a little scared as far as how slow it was playing and that was the top gun infamous game yesterday but other than that it's it's just been awesome game after awesome game yeah good good back and forth paintball todd yeah top gun union i wouldn't be surprised to see them out here now that they've lost two points in a row try and come right back saying ryan martin up the middle again you know he's having a lot of success shooting people on the run on his way up there and then locking a side off but his teammates have to play off of those moves. If they see him get up there, they got to uh, react quicker, get into the snake, get up in that Dorito too, protect their teammate. So okay. X-Factor with a one-point advantage here, two to one over Trenton Top Gun, 15 minutes on the clock. Archie Montemayor and Dimitri Nino stepping up to get two confirmed kills so far in this game. And here we go, on the breakout, X-Factor on your right, Top Gun Union on your left. And Top Gun Union spreading the field out pretty solidly. X-Factor losing a body as, uh, no, I'm sorry, Trenton Top Gun losing two bodies. X-Factor losing one. Grayson Goff comes early, off early for X-Factor, but then Colt Roberts dies too, so it's now three on three. Good back up split. They can make this back corner here on the snake side, as you see on your screen. That back corner, Maddie, on the snake side is so important for X-Factor, especially when they try to dip into the snake. Mm -hmm. They're trying to fight their way outside. Oh, oh, gets clipped in the goggles. That's what I'm talking about. That back corner is huge. But Mike. he also takes a buck. He, he, he takes a ball too, Matty. Yeah, Mike Smith comes off trying to make that quick bump over. And here comes Archie Montemayor. You know what, Matty? And I got to say something that you had mentioned before we even started this webcast. 
This field is going to play out to Manchi Meteor. He's going to play a great tournament, and look at this. Well, it's this but on the snake side. It, it requires the snake side requires heads up play. You need to be a guy with great timing. You have to have a high paintball IQ, and you need to be able to read what's happening in front of you and react accordingly. And that is completely that's our, you just defined Archie Montemayor mm -hmm. when you start talking about that, which is why he's one of the best players out of Texas. And you know Archie's the highest ranked player on X Factory. Six confirmed kills in this game, and yeah. Archie, this is the type of field layout because guys that don't have his field awareness, he should be able to beat on this side of the field. So Archie, and he looks great. So small, so fast, and uh, has been such a solid player for San Antonio X Factor for years. Yeah, the uh, fantastic mustache to boot. I mean, he's playing. He's playing so phenomenal right now, too, Maddie. I mean, like, and you called it. Like I, I said before, it's, it's. I like watching him play, man. Yeah, I, I love, love watching him play. Yeah, he, he's so fluid and dynamic. So we're going to be right back here. San Antonio X Factor up two over Trenton. Three to one is the score. See you in a second. Purchase an Empire Prophecy Z2 loader from EmpirePaintball.com and receive a free 240 count upgrade shell. Go to EmpirePaintball.com and enter the promo code WestCoastZ2 when you check out. So yeah, I definitely want to take advantage of uh, all the offers that some of our advertisers have. There's 10% off Dynasty Gear, ANS, uh, JT, and Empire are definitely have some awesome specials. So make sure to check out all that stuff. It's uh, you know, hey man, if you can get. Free is one of my That's favorite. Free, free is one of my favorite four free money. words. Yeah, just call my office right now. You know, hello, Rosie. Yeah, Todd said I could have everything I want for free. <laughs> just call him up. Just say I said it's cool. We'll ship you whatever you need. Exactly. Just walk into the store. Uh, limit, pick up. limit of $1,000 of merchandise per, limit, per call. Yeah, speak of the way. This guy walked into my store one time. The poor kid that was working there is like, he calls me after Chris leaves, and he's like, hey, some guy, I don't know, he was an airsoft kid, goes, hey, some guy with a ponytail just walked in and said, I'm taking this case of paint and walked out the door. I was like, what do you mean? You just let some random dude walk into the store? Chris called me. He's like, yo, I just walked in the store, took a case of paint. I care about that. Oh, by the way. Uh, kid was freaking out. He's like, I didn't know what Should to do. Should I call the police? I don't look that threatening, do I? Hello, police. A ponytailed man. 29-ish. 29-ish. 29-ish looking. Uh, just walked in the store. In Oceanside. Oh, that, that pretty much, that's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad we got a timeout because I'm going to start crying. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I Chris, played him too. I was like, dude, what do you mean you just let some guy walk out of the you're store? You're not going to call the police when like, that what are, you are you kidding me? We just let people walk in? <laughs> uh. Oh, Lord. Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Oops. <laughs> it is what it is. Way kids go, these Chris. days. Way to scare the kids working at, working at Golden State. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, Lord. hey, I'm telling you. But, hey, great day out here, man. It's, it's a great day at PayPal. You know, I'll be here with two of my best friends in the world, man. <laughs> Manny Marshall, Todd Martinez. Hope you guys are enjoying it at home. Me and Steve Rabicoff were going toe-to-toe -to -toe this morning. Yeah. I think I got the worst of that one. Matty even jumped I, well, in a little bit. I think bit. you might have given him more than he gave you the first day. But today, I think he yeah, won he up got, to you <laughs> way more times than you he, won up there's to a, You guys both had me stumped. You weren't even here. You'll see later. I'm going to have to go back and watch. I was like... Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, Matt even looked at me one time. He's like, yeah, that was, was, uh, like, hey, he got that was a good one. He definitely got you. <laughs> so. so what do you guys think? Who do you think is going to make it out of this division right here? I think uh, I think it's going to be impact, and, impact damage. and damage. Oh, yeah. I, that's you know, unless Infamous really comes today and has two awesome blowout games, you know, they're going to play uh, – Impact and X Factor. Impact and X Factor. It has happened. I mean, Infamous is a second half team, as I always say, second day team, maybe. I mean, we saw that's what they did at, at the MAO event. You know, they came out, had a horrible first day. I can't second. count how many times that's happened to them. X Factor getting aggressive at the middle, but are they all out there alive? Oh, they lose two on the break, though, quickly, and also one, two going down. Four. Oh, and the third one got bounced from X Factor. Four going down, two more going down for Top Gun, so four oh. total on the break. Yeah, but Alvin Johnson, I mean, he left early, had to come, run back, tag up, shot his gun to the snake side, and still managed to keep two bodies alive for Top Gun and two bodies alive uh, for X Factor. Billy Bernaccio over here in the snake going heads up with Michael Smith. Running down right now, Grayson Goff goes Ooh. and runs Ooh. down Heyman Chapman. That was good close. job by Michael Smith. Yeah, Michael Smith made that one look nasty. I don't know if yeah, that Michael was Smith didn't get shot, then he may not realize that he's the last guy, but... 
That, that was I don't know. Did Michael I, Smith get Billy I think, clean? I think I think they I think they traded. Well, it's the, it's, it's, I don't think Michael Smith would be walking off if he thought, didn't think that he got shot by yep. somebody. So uh, I was looking at Grayson Goff. I didn't. I thought Billy Bernardo no. was looking on the inside. Well, he was, but Billy honestly, he's like cat-like reflexes, and he actually he. he I was gonna say borderline spun, but I'm not right down there. It must have been a mutual elimination. Yeah, yes. so I guess it's a it's, it was mutual elimination, no point. Let's check out the replay here. Maybe we can get a glimmer on it. So here he comes, Smith. Wow, oh, that's an awesome angle right there. So Smith able to, I don't know, did Billy shoot him? Yeah, Billy looked well, like he did. No, maybe Billy, Billy had did the tuck and roll. Yeah, I think Billy had the, <laughs> the gun combat down roll. Low. The Ed Porman combat the Ed Por roll? Ed Porman combat roll. Wow. No, but it was real close, Matt. You, you, I mean, God, it was the, ju the judges are right there. It's so close. That was a close one. Also, I think Billy might have been had it. Let's look at it from this angle right here, or same angle. But let's see if Billy had his gun that way. Yep, combat roll. Yeah, it, it was it was so close, the, man. Oh, out of bounds. He went out of bounds. Oh, if you look at his feet. Yeah, he went out of bounds. That's 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 got to be the call because I'm. Sense. I just don't know if Billy shot him or not. So yeah, let's look at um, it there. Run it back. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Totally oh, yeah, out of, he's whole, way out of bounds. Yeah, the, the whole bottom lower part of his body slid out of bounds. So the referee in there pulling him out. Yeah, that, and that's unfortunate. I mean, there's been many times, Todd, that you've been up the front, done some damage, and then all of a sudden you turn around and you go, where'd everybody go? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, and it's unfortunate. He probably didn't know that actually those, his whole team was well, gone at that point. Well, and also when you're making that move, you are going to go as wide as you need to. I mean, obviously you're going to keep where the boundary is in mind, but when you're diving in there trying to just make it happen, sometimes like we've all been pulled out on that. Yeah, so, so no point. Three to one is still the score with 13 12 to go. It's a gift. But that, yeah, that was huge because if they had put that point on the board, it would have been a one point game here. So Trenton's still fighting from behind. But it was, that's still great to see out of Smith. Yeah, it was a great move, without question. Good timing. Um, everything was great. Uh, you know, good breakout right here. Oh, losing one on the break is both teams losing one player. Austin Alex, Trenton losing like, two. But Alex Martinez all the way up to the 50 yard line. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. If he took a hit and the referee is going to run in there and check him out, that will be a penalty if he's hit. No, he's clean. So Alex Martinez, the owner of X Factor, is up there in the center of the squad. He's actually the oldest rostered player in the league. It's still out there balling it up, actually, shutting down that Dorito side of the field. Such a nice guy, too. I mean, this. Oh, God, I love Alex Me too. Martinez. I, I, I agree. I mean, the good program. He, he, he definitely knows the deal. And X Factor, look across the line. You can see it right there on the right hand side of your screen. All of 50s. Dixon Yang in the snake. Alex Martinez just going to work. X Factor looking crisp right here. Yeah, X Factor, very dominant field position. You can see there Alex Martinez up there in the center. And then on the flip side, there's Top Gun Union stuck in those back bunkers, Bo. But Dixon Yang getting shot out of the snake, out of his bunker. So a mental mistake by Dixon as he loses a gunfight, and that is going to put Alex in a little bit of a tough situation now. If, but I don't think, does Top Gun have anyone out wide? I, I thought Chris Shear broke people. out there. There's uh, three people out. I'm sorry, Alvin Johnson broke out to that Dorito corner. He did. And uh, it looked like the referee was going to run in there and pull him out, but he is clean. He's in there alive. So all, of three, all three Top Gun players left alive are from the back center bunker all the way over to the Dorito side of the field, locked up in those back spots. So X Factor still in real good field position, but as they have Scott Kemp, Alex Martinez, and Colt Roberts, but they are all on the Dorito side of the field. But losing Dixon Yang, he was the one that was that could come down the snake and would have been the one to open this game up. Well, Unfortunately, well, somebody has always got to keep their eye on that center of the field. I mean, they have the 50-yard line on the Dorito side. X Factor does. They also have the center 50, and they have Colt Roberts right behind Scott Kemp. So they have awesome field position, but they're still looking at three bodies. There's no one on the snake side of the field. So if that center player from uh, Top Gun can get over here and spread the field, it will really change the dynamic at this point. Yeah, that's a great call, Matt. You're talking about the guy at the bottom of your screen right there. That's the guy that's got to come over this way, um, really help those guys out. And that's that's pretty much the thing that will break this game open. But it looks it, like... Do you think he can make it, though, Chris? I don't, I don't think so. Do you think he can make it over? I mean, he's looking for it. You can see on his body language. He either wants to launch forward or he wants to come out this side. Uh, he's no, looking think, for that. I think Colt Roberts has a pretty good shot on him. Right yeah, there, you, you know, gotta Scott put that Kemp, yeah. Scott Kemp as well. I mean, both Dorito guys are looking on the inside. Alex Martinez, you know, there in the center to focus just on Ryan Martin and that Dorito one. But, I mean, Chris Shear, you know, we've seen a lot of good moves from him. He's a smart player. 
Well, you got to put those you guys know, he in. He doesn't want to give his body away because then uh, be both over. Ryan Martin and Alvin Johnson will just be in a straight line. You know, he's got he's to put those guys in and go. That's his only savior. I mean, otherwise, I think we'll be sitting here until everybody's out of paint and then some desperation move will happen. Uh, ten minutes left in this game. Coming on the ten-minute mark. Three to one in favor of X-Factor right now. Oh, and Alvin Johnson gets shot in the eyeball. There's that crossover you just talked about, actually, guys. Maddie, he made that move you're talking about, trying to spread the field a little bit with well, Scott Kemp. That's a real smart play. Ooh, and, and Alex Martinez getting clipped. So this could be the opportunity. No, but top one on gun one. gets. Oh, and there's oh. a major penalty on somebody. That might be on oh, Scott, Scott Kemp. Oh, Kemp's going to get a major. No. Somebody's got a major. I, th I want to say it was. It's not Scott Kemp because he, he'd be sprinting to the box. They gave yeah, Ryan so Martin the major. Yeah, so that means that. Uh, so that's going to be a point. Yep. Hey, so finally, X Factor gets a little wind in their sails, and th <laughs> and a penalty's thrown, and it's not on them. Yeah, now you know I, I actually saw that, and uh, that was a major on Trenton Top Gun. Ryan Martin pulling that major, pulling his last player out, leaving Colt, Lu Colt Roberts alive to hang the flag for San Antonio X Factor, going up four well, to one. In that situation, um, it, nobody even has to hang the flag because if there's two bodies left and one of the guys gets a major, the other player being eliminated on that major automatically stops the clock and gives the other team uh, a point, as I um, found out again <laughs> yesterday uh, when that <laughs> happened to us uh, with Keith DeVitt and Trevor Reeser. Um, you know, it was a two-on-two -two situation. Keith DeVitt tried to run down, uh, run down the field, got shot, got a major, and the, the point stops right there to save the time. This is the new rule that takes the place of the swing point. So there's no oh, more swing point. We saw how that impacted the game uh, so significantly you know, over the past couple of years. So that is the new rule that has taken the place of the swing point penalty of the 90 second rule. I like, mm -hmm. I like that rule actually. I think that's a good addition, you know, and uh, I mean personally. Well, you gotta keep constantly trying to refine it. And if, it, if enough things come up, then the powers that be will always try to take a hard look at whether or not the rule needs to be changed. And if it needs to be changed, act accordingly. So with nine minutes and 16 seconds to go, San Antonio X Factor is now up three points against Trenton Top Gun, and Ryan Martin is going to spend the next two minutes in the box, not going to help Top Gun's chances here. Yeah, and Trenton Top Gun actually was looking pretty crisp in the beginning there, you know, coming out aggressive, getting Ryan Martin up the center. They got to go back to that now on the break, hopefully get a G on the break as well, and capitalize on it, because I think that's their only savior down by three points to X Factor. But however, X Factor is known for going up to four points and then throwing it away. They're a first half team. Well, if it's, uh, yeah, I talked to Ryan Brand, uh, the coach of X Factor leading up to this event. He was saying, he's like, man, I'm like, you, I said to him, you've lost some heartbreakers this year. And he said, well, yeah, if we could just stay out of the penalty box, we'd be fine. And then he also said, and if it was a race to four, man, we'd be dominating everybody out here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is true. This game's starting right now on your screen. Trenton Top Gun. So, I'm uh, sorry. On the breakout all the way up to the break, or all the way up to the 50-yard line uh, is, I believe that is for X-Factor, number 44, number that's Grayson Goff, who last year was X-Factor's highest-ranked player. So Trenton Top Gun also got Jamie Ezel. She got shot by Archie Montemayor, who's clocking in with seven confirmed kills. And the bodies are just dropping left and right for Trenton Top Gun. San Antonio X-Factor making taking full advantage of this power play. Finally excited to be on a power play for once. Yeah, excited to be on a power play on the flip side. <laughs> okay, well, think about it. I guarantee you this is what happened. Every person in the X Factor box, somebody saw a flag and was like, oh, my God, red flag. And then as soon as they realized it was on Top Gun, they were like, oh, thank God. Yeah, so we're going to be right back after this. ANS Gear rocks the largest inventory of any paintball retailer. From our massive selection of guns to our endless supply of goggles, paint, loaders, tanks, and apparel. With your choice of free shipping on orders over $100 to next day, Saturday, or international shipping options, you get the products you need sooner. 
Shop now at ansgear.com. So 5-1 to one is the score. San Antonio X-Factor up four points on Trenton Top Gun with eight minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Now Top Gun, they have shown some fight when they played Los Angeles Infamous yesterday, but they still have a minute and 20 seconds left on that penalty with Ryan Martin going to be stuck in the box. Next up, after this matchup, we have Impact taking on Infamous. I can't wait to see that game. Infamous needs to bring it today because if they have an awesome day and they blow some big teams out, they could definitely secure their spot to play tomorrow. If they have a terrible day, then they're going to be playing in one of those relegation games, which they found themselves in twice so far this year. So here we go. We got about three seconds to go. Also, go to PSPEvents.com PSP and get your team in the fight for World Cup. Sign up early and make sure that you're going to be able to play the most legendary event on Earth. So here we go. Big move by Alex Martinez getting out wide and able to get out for San Antonio X-Factor, but X-Factor also getting up there in the center, so not scared to push forward. Here comes Alex Martinez <laughs> getting in the snake. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Alex Martinez, again, oldest man that's playing professional paintball. Uh-oh, but Dixon Yang might have, oh, no. Anytime you see a ref run, and it gets, just gets scary because if a ref has to run 50 <laughs> or 60 yards to try to pull you out, you're going to get a penalty. <laughs> Alex Martinez going to work in the snake just at the bottom. Yeah, but so Alex Martinez, he's looking around. He's trying to make sure there's Alex Martinez. Six confirmed kills for him so far. Doesn't really get a lot of points played as he lets his young killers go to work. But, man, he can definitely play some paintball. So here we go. Yeah, uh, Dixon Yang up there doing work middle of the field. Alex Martinez now here in that 50. He's going to wrap the outside, but still has to deal with the snake corner of uh, Trenton Top Gun, but Trenton Top Gun just losing bodies. They got Nicholas Hunt over here on the snake, Heyman Chapman in the inside tower on the Dorito side. Oh, and coming out of the box, Ryan Martin just blazes Dixon Yang standing in the open in the middle of the field. Alex Martinez gets shot out of that 50, and now it's just Dimitri Ninos who is gonna clean up Nicholas Hunt after Heyman Chapman got shot during that exchange. So Dimitri Ninos having a pretty solid game so far. Some decent production out of him. Three confirmed kills. And it's awesome to see Alex Martinez get over here in on and get into the snake and start moving up the field. But it looks like he got a penalty actually. Did he get a was that a minor? It's looking like it's looking like Alex Martinez got a minor. Uh, I didn't really see it personally, but uh, Yeah, I didn't see a flag, but it's on our board, so We'll see. In case you don't know what a minor is, your first time watching this this uh, webcast, a minor is significant signified by a yellow flag thrown in the air. It's a one-minute penalty. If your team wins the point, that continues to run consecutively. If you lose the point, that that penalty then comes off. If it's a major penalty, Todd, as you've seen, I'm sure Todd can explain this a little better. Two minutes in the box, and it's usually when the other team scores a whole bunch of points <laughs> against you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's signified by a red flag. Just so win, lose, or draw that stays on, Matty. Yeah. It, and penalties do play a factor. It just, it's part of the game. They come, it's just like any other sport. You're going to have infractions of the rules, and the teams and the players are penalized as such. You just want to limit them to a, the smallest amount you possibly can have. So right now, X Factor one point away from taking this victory, and a solid victory at that. It will be a good uh, point margin for them if they are able to make this a 7 to 1 game. We'll be right back. Being a snake player, diving around a lot, you're crawling a lot, and the geo can outstand my beating it up down the snake. I can shoot straighter with that gun than I've ever shot in my life. The bunkers are getting smaller and smaller. You really need to play tighter and tighter. Having a small gun like a geo 3 has helped me evolve my game and be able to play tight spots. My name is Billy Bernaccia. I play for San Antonio X Factor. My gun is a geo 3 So we are back here to the action on the field and Top Gun trying to get out, getting chewed up. Heyman Chapman taking the walk and now headed up in the center. Uh, Jesse Stevens getting a spin, coming out on his first snapshot, getting shot in the face. That's a reverse snapshot. <laughs> uh, Chris Shear just owned him down the wire. He's playing good, man. I, I, I like that kid. I'm going to keep my eye on him the rest of the year. Yeah, me too. Chris Shear, I really like how Chris Shear plays the game for Trenton Top Gun. But uh, Michael Smith doing a lot of the work and Ryan Martin doing So Heyman Chapman and 
Ryan Martin and Michael Smith have been doing most of the work, though. Yes, we have seen bright, a few bright moments for Chris Shear. You know, one, one thing I've seen about, and, and I've actually read on paintballaccess.com, is that Trenton Top Gun has a lot of history. They've been around for a long time. And I think there were some statistics in there that players come and go on that team, and they don't, they never had the same roster over a year. Well, they, they've gone through, in, the, in their time in, in the PSP, they've had over 20 different players play on the roster. But their core, essentially, I mean, they have a lot of the same guys. Oh, looks like a penalty has been assessed. I thought he was going for red on that against X-Factor. Unfortunately, that's going to be a minor penalty called against Scott Kemp. It looks like it's a pack hit. And Scott is frustrated he, on that. You can see Scott Kemp rips his pack off, looks at it, and then throws his arm up in the air. Very frustrated situation for Scotty Kemp. Yeah, but it's 6-1 to one right now. Yeah, I mean, he needs I to mean, maintain his composure. Oh, look at this. Archie Montemayor. He <laughs> got, you called his, again. Archie, he, Archie's so quick. He's quick to the punch. Let's see if he can pull this one off, though. It, or no, I'm sorry, that's Billy Renaccia. Billy is Renaccia it? out there. No, 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 no that's, that's Archie, Archie Montemayor. Yeah, that's Archie Oh, Montemayor. in the head. Look at Archie Montemayor. Three on one, Archie Montemayor wheeling and dealing. Seen this before, now it's a one on one. Unbelievable, Archie Montemayor going to work. And you know what, you called that, oh, in the head again. Look at that, Archie Montemayor. Kobe for three, seven to one going down. Trey, wow. Archie Montemayor, I'm telling you, that kid, there's a reason why when you know people are like, oh, why do you always say that Archie's one of the best players ever yeah. from Texas? Oh, well, would, come on now. I would say that. Why, I'm just pointing out the obvious. <laughs> why is the sky blue? Why is <laughs> somebody the asked, wet? If anybody was, ever asks you why did you say that, they haven't been watching paintball. Oh, for they, the don't know, they don't know well, you because if you say something, you're pretty. Well, <laughs> they hear us say it a lot. I say it a lot because it's as true as the fact that gravity exists. <laughs> you know what I mean? How, how, are, how are we locked to the earth? Gravity. Why, is, oh, are, why wow. has San Antonio X Factor been a good paintball team over the years? Well, one of the big reasons is because Archie Montemayor plays so good out there. And we just saw some awesome play by him to boss this game off. Yeah, Archie had two Jeez. four packs this game. Awesome. They're taking him to Sizzler later. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Archie's stepping up and proving again why he's been such a consummate all-star for years. Uh, it's going to be a sad day the day he decides to hang it up, that's for sure. But why would he do that? I mean, if he's constantly, you know, doing this out there to, to, to finish this game off and looking amazing doing now, it. Now, right? that's what I like. I like seeing that kind of game right there out of, out of uh, San Antonio X Factor. 7-1 to one over Trenton Top Gun, who's no slouch by any means. They fought their way up here just like everybody else. They have a good, they have a good solid roster. Um, penalties, uh, I think they just got beat that game. I don't think penalties really played that much of a factor. No, I, I really just think that... Yeah, there were a couple penalties here and there, but the story of this game was that X Factor came to play some paintball today, man. Yep. X Factor really decided to step up, and though even though, and oh, look at that, Archie Montemar, 12 conformed kills for him. Scott Kemp had four, Colt Roberts had four. Uh, Ryan Martin did some work for Top Gun with eight confirmed kills, and so did Smith uh, with six, but not enough for T1 Top Gun. And so Trenton Top Gun is uh, gonna take a, a loss here. Let's check out the schedule for the rest of the day. Edmonton Impact coming up next. I can't wait to see this game. I really want to see what uh, Infamous is going to bring against this Edmonton Impact game, uh, Edmonton Impact team. I They've think played each other a lot over the years. I think Sorry, they got to live. Chris? They got to live. They got to live through the break, man, because Impact is shooting some really good lanes, man. Well, hopefully us and all the rest of the paintball world watching out there in Internet land, maybe we'll get gifted with another game like that Dynasty Heat game. Well, let's check in here. With Archie Montemayor, he is with Lauren Kelly on the sidelines. Thanks, Maddie. I have Archie Montemayor with me again on the sidelines. That was a great match. You played so well. You got two four packs. What were you thinking during those points that made the difference? Um, you know, to be honest, nothing different than you would in any other point. I mean, I, I'm just trying to do my best in every point in every situation. So um, that's really all you can do. And besides preparing before the tournament, I mean, once you're there, you're just trying to fight whatever you know comes your way. Um, what, yeah. kind of, what kind of plays and strategy did you execute in that match that you need to do again later today? I think for us, uh, for the most part, we stayed out of the box. I know we got a sloppy penalty there, one of the last points, but that was a huge key for us. I mean, playing five on five, that's uh, usually our better odds. We've been really struggling when we're in the box, so trying to stay out of there is a big, big key for us. Awesome. Well, congratulations. They won on the ta Challengers field. Tauntauns beat Royalty 7-4. to four. I'll keep bringing you updates. Stay tuned.